Okay, so we're dealing with uh, electron transitions in the hydrogen atom. And uh, it looks like we've got, let's see, six different levels to deal with. I'm going to go ahead and use our formula that the energy of a given level is minus 13.6 over n squared eV. Right? So um, the energy for level 8, which is the highest level I see, is a negative 0 0.213 eV. The energy for level 5 is uh, minus 0 0.544 eV. Okay, I'm going to do this for all the different levels. I see 8, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 as the different levels that are covered here. So minus 850, right? As we get lower and lower and closer to the ground state, the energies get more and more negative, right? As the electrons get more and more bound to the nucleus, minus 3.40. And then finally, the energy of the ground state, of course, which is minus 13.6 eV. All right. So part A, it's asked for the energy of each transition, okay? So we just want to know the energy. They're not, the problem doesn't say whether these are emission. Oh, oh, I see. Um, so when we go from eight to three, uh, so part A, let's consider the transition that goes from level eight to level three. That's going to be emission of a photon, right? Because the electron is dropping down to a lower level, so it's going to emit light. The energy difference is going to be uh, E8 minus E3, which is uh, minus 0.213 minus negative 1.51, which is 1.30 eV. Okay, now let's consider the transition that goes from 2 to 4, that's going to be absorption. Okay, so the energy of that is going to be, again, the higher level minus the lower level. We're just interested in the energy here. Uh, so I always want to take the higher level minus the lower level, so I get a positive number. So here is minus 0 0.85 and then minus 3.40. Okay, so that's 2.55 eV in absorption. The next transition is from 1 to 3. That's also absorption. So delta E is going to be E3 minus E1. And that's going to be minus 1.51 minus negative 13.6. So that's 12.1 eV. And then the final transition is from level 5 to level 2. Since we're dropping the electron down, that's going to be emission of a photon. Delta E is going to be E5 minus E2, which is negative 0.544 minus negative 3.40. And that is 2.86 eV. Whew, okay. So there's the energy of each transition, right? Boom, 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 boom. So I'm done with part A. Now part B, which, uh, let's see, the shortest wavelength emitted by a reaction that involves emission. So the reactions that involve emission are here and here. Which one of these is going to have a shorter wavelength? Well, it's going to be the one with the higher energy, which is here. Okay, so the answer is the the largest energy emitted photon is in the uh, 5 to 2 transition. Okay, so we're going to set, uh, let's see, to find the wavelength of that photon, we're going to set hc over lambda equal to 2.86 eV, and so lambda is uh, HC, so there's our H, and C divided by the energy. Now i got to have this energy in joules, so that's 4.58 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Okay, when I convert this into, into joules, 
by multiplying by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. All right, when I do that, I get uh, 4.34 times 10 to the minus 7 meters, which is 434 times 10 to the minus 9 meters, or 434 nanometers. Okay, so there's part B. Part C asks, let's see, the wavelength of the least energetic photon absorbed. Okay, so here's our two absorption. And the least energetic one is going to be this guy right here. So 2 to 4. So the least energetic photon absorbed is going to come from the, uh, the 2 to 4 transition. All right, so we're going to set hc over lambda equal to 2.55 eV. And just like we did up here, we're going to find lambda. Okay, so lambda is going to be h c, and then we need this energy here, 2.55 eV in joules, and that's 4.08 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Okay, and that works out to be 487 nanometers there for part C. That makes sense. It's This is a little less energetic, right? That 2.86 is a little more energetic, and it has a little shorter wavelength, so that all, that all works.